Ooh, it is a beautiful day over here at the beach in Florida. We're gonna be trying to catch some fish, man. If you guys saw a few videos ago, we came over to this exact beach actually, and uh, things were not so hot. The wind was whipping, and it was just not the best day of fishing. But today, everything's gonna change. Today, it's not as windy. We got blue skies. Let me just give you a quick pan around real quick. We're in kind of a uh, more touristy area. There's a bunch of people like beaching over that way. And then I'm actually in between a bunch of people fishing. They've all got these big old surf rods. I still have like lighter gear, but let me just show you real quick. This is what we are working with. Beautiful freaking day. Wait till that sun comes out. And uh, yeah, man, we got a couple other rods in the water. And I literally, right when we got here, I realized I forgot my bait. I, I had fish bites and I do not have my fish bites. But you know what? That is okay because there is a bait that we're gonna try to get that is probably one of the best fishing baits, if not the best fishing bait you could use from the surf here in Florida. We're gonna see if we can get some. All right, so yeah, again, if you guys watched the video the other day, it is just completely different out here. It is an absolutely gorgeous beach day. So we also have Kelsey out here. She's chilling on the uh, little blanket over there, eating a sandwich. We have some beach snacks. But yeah, we're just gonna get right into this. So I think if I just dig down maybe, I don't know, that's kind of how it was in Delaware. Let me do it out a little bit more, actually. We're trying to find sand place. Now, in Delaware, you can just stick your hand down in the sand, and you can find some. Here, you stick your hand down in the sand, you never know what you can freaking find, dude. Giant stingray, big old shark. There's like, man of war jellyfish. The last time we were here at this beach, Kelsey, found one on the beach and it was like a fresh one. So there's, yeah, there's lots of stuff. I'm trying not to get too wet here. Oh, that's a bigger wave. Oi. Yeah. All right, let's stick our hands in. Dude, I don't know. <laughs> Water's a little chilly. Where are the sand fleas? Huh. Okay, man. So we learned some stuff. I had to walk all the way back to the truck. I got some uh, fish bites. I'll show you here in a second. They were using last time. I thought that the like, Florida beaches had sand fleas. Last time I was at one, which was like years ago, there was just sand fleas. I talked to a guy that was uh, leaving. He gave his sand fleas to somebody else, unfortunately, but he was saying that like, they've been doing a lot of beach replenishment and there's just no sand fleas. They're like gold. So, uh, yeah, we gotta work with what we got. We all we got, we all we need. Nobody's really catching anything out here though. I think tide is incoming and I, it's gonna change right now. Watch this. All right, so let me show you, oh geez, excuse me, thing. So let me show you the rig we got going on. I don't even know if I'm gonna use those PVC things. So basically we have a three ounce pyramid sinker, which hopefully that's gonna stick to the bottom. It's not as crazy as it was last time we were here, so hopefully that'll work. I'm gonna try to pitch it right into the uh, little trough area. So this is a, I think it's a pompano rig, two aunt hook. So these things float and kind of keep this up like that. And then there's another one up there. So we're gonna check that out. Again, we don't have a really big rod. We're around all these people fishing who have giant setups. But I'm not planning on catching giant fish at the moment. We're gonna kind of go for the smaller-ish sort of stuff, pompano, whiting, really whatever is out here. Let's just see if this is gonna hold. That's like the main question. I think we'll be able to like detect bites a lot better on this rod too. That's a big wave coming. My back up a little bit right there. Apparently, I talked to the guy and people were catching 
a lot of smaller things and I think I saw a guy over there earlier catch something smaller too. They're just kind of doing the same thing, just holding the rod. Let's see. I mean, it feels like it's holding the bottom. Nice. Kelsey, Kelsey, look at this. There's a crazy fish out there. Do I have fish on? Yeah, I do have fish on. Look at that. <laughs> Babe, did you see that fish all the way out there? Like, way out there. It's jumping and going back in the water. It looks crazy. It's a fish. I don't know what it is. It might be a tarpon or something. All right, man. That actually was pretty quick. First fish of the day. I believe this is a little whiting. Felt that dude bite for sure. Look at that. Kind of looks like a redfish. We caught a pretty decent one uh, in the Jacksonville videos. Oh, geez. Okay, chill, 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 chill. All right, let's let that dude go. Not a big fish. Oh, geez. Hello, professional fisherman. He looks crazy when you look like down on him. Like, look at his eyes like that. Can you see that? All right. Boom, get back in the water. There's a crazy freaking fish. I don't know if you just heard about it. I was telling Kelsey, but way out there before I got bit, something was jumping and spigging a big splash out in the water, and it was not a dolphin. Might have been a tarpon. I don't know. I don't know anything about Florida this time of the year, but that was freaking cool, dude. Also, first fish of the day. Whew. We're working. Oof, oof, oof. Oh, you saw it? Holy crap, what is that? Should I fly the drone over to it? That'd be crazy. I don't know what that freaking fish out there is. That's what's so cool about just freaking the ocean, man. There's so much stuff in the ocean. And there's like, like sea monsters are real. <laughs> last time my sister was here, I said this last time, there was like a freaking 10 foot bull shark or hammerhead or something that was swimming right by them, right off the beach. The ocean, especially Florida ocean is it's just crazy. All right, let's see if we can get something else to bite here. I'm gonna keep a lookout for that fish again. That is so cool. Let me know also if you guys like these surf fishing videos, if you guys want to see more of them. I have so much fun, especially just doing this. Like it's fun to have it in the rod holder, but to feel the bite is so much fun, dude. Days like this are just like awesome. If you guys are out there with a significant other and you want to go fishing, go to a beach like this. If you can get to the beach, I guess. <laughs> or go to the lake or whatever. Just have them like, you know, there's, there's beaches at lakes. Have them sit in the sun, read some books, take some naps, do some walking. You could be out here fishing. Everybody's happy, you know? It's the best of both worlds. I see bait jumping over here too, actually. Should I throw a spoon or something? I don't know what this is. There's life in these waters. I don't know if I explained it too well or not. I uh, probably did not in this video, but fish bites are basically just like little pieces of gauze and it's kind of like gum. I don't, I don't really know how to explain it. Dude, there's freaking fish jumping over here, man. I'm about to throw a lure. What is going on? But basically it's just like a little piece of fish gum, you could call it, and you put it on the hook and it smells and the fish like the smell, so they bite it. This is shrimp scent or shrimp flavor, I guess but I would rather have sand flea flavor because that's apparently what all these fish like to eat. But I don't, I don't, there's just no sand fleas. It's so weird. So like maybe they're keyed in on shrimp. If, would that make any sense if there's no sand fleas or maybe they just have the taste for sand flea, but they can't, I don't know. 
It's, it's a good question, I guess. Again, man, this is salt water and it's Florida salt water. So possibilities for Jack. I mean, that big old fish out there, that could have been a tarpon. I don't really know what that could have been. But uh, I don't think snook come up here, but redfish, trout maybe. Uh, really anything you could think of that's in these waters, whiting or kingfish, whatever they're called that I just caught. We caught a catfish last video. You guys didn't see that one? So there's some life here. A lot of weeds on that one. That's not what we want. All right, let's try to get it right. Right there. That looks perfect. Oh, that's a fish. I don't know if he took it though. Is he on? Question mark? Well, that guy caught one over there. Do we got a fish? That was definitely a bite. Nope, he didn't take it. Ah! Wow, I'm just standing here. I mean, the water feels so nice. Like, it, it, it's so refreshing fishing like this and just, like, having your feet in the water, being well with nature, wading and stuff. But also, like, I'm getting toasty, man. The back of my legs, out of anything, I got a hood on right now, but the back of my legs are freaking getting toasty. Might have to pull my pants down a little bit. Bring out the rod holders. We're gonna go double action here. Ooh, ooh. All right, one out. Number two going out. Boom. Now we wait. Just recasted these things, tighten that up a little bit. One thing is kind of random, but I've been, I've been noticing about this beach. I don't know if this is Florida beaches or just this beach in general, but it's very interesting how like, so, okay. This might be my fault because my rods aren't super tall. Like they're not super surf rods, right? So people like who are walking along the water, I mean, it's a big touristy beach over there. So they're gonna walk along the water and they get super close. Like these things, again, they're not super high. I don't want to clothesline somebody. So I'm trying to watch out for that to make sure nobody gets injured or something. But also like when I'm casting or like, I don't know, reeling it in and I'm like kind of got it low a little bit, people just don't go around. Like they want to get clotheslined. It's very interesting. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm not complaining either. Like I don't own the beach. I don't own the sand. But like, what do you guys think? What are the rules of that? Like, should I... I don't know, I don't know. Should I have my rods out further? Or should I just be holding it, doing a one rod strat? Or I mean, whoever just walks, they, they, you know, whatever happens, happens, I guess. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. Whew. It's been a little while. That bite came and then just, it just went real quick. One little fish. I saw a guy to my left. He caught a, uh, I forget what kind of shark it is. It's the kind that looks like a hammerhead, but it's not. It eats the crustaceans and stuff. That thing was putting up a fight. I wonder if that would hit the fish bites. Oi! I just got back. I was eating a sandwich. Hello? Hello? Was just enjoying the day. Eating a little sandwich. We had some little birds. It was like snow white out here. Little birds were 
blessing us and frolicking next to us. Dang it, dude. Yeah, I had a... That was definitely a bite. Huh. Usually they just hook themselves on a circle hook. It's a little bit tough fishing right now, man. Let's leave that dude back there. Ah, oh, back to sitting in the chair. So there's a lot of like grass and stuff that keeps getting on my line. Dude, that bird just almost freaking took my head off. But I keep having to like shake it off and stuff. And I just went back out down there and did it again. And uh, Lady passed and she said, when there's whiting, there's usually pompano. And there's whiting. So that'd be really cool. I've never caught a pompano before. And people say it's like the best tasting fish. People say that about a lot of fish, but I've heard that a lot about pompano. And I know Florida people go crazy for pompano. So I just had a sandwich and now I'm eating some mango slices. It's not a bad day at the beach. Okay, so this is what uh, we're dealing with now. <laughs> I guess the tide changed or the wind changed or something happened. There's so much of this stuff and uh, it's really hard to avoid. Ugh. We're doing our best though. So, in the last video, or two videos ago, actually, I put a little contest in there. I was like, yo, if anybody can guess what I get from Chipotle, you guys win a brand new reel. This is a mock smash. Brand spanking new, out the box, still in the plastic. The lucky winner is, some of you guys were guessing like prices too. I guess, I, I don't know if I communicated what I was trying to say or not. Tank338365, congratulations, you just won yourself a new Lose Mock Smash MHS 300 series. As always, man, I really do uh, appreciate you guys for watching these videos. I know this, I, it's, it's not the craziest fishing. Getting out there, exploring, enjoying the outdoors, that's what it's freaking all about, man, and we're gonna be doing that a lot more here in Florida. We're actually gonna be starting to go down south a little bit really soon. We're kind of in like the middle-ish of Florida. So bigger, and crazier fish on the way, especially saltwater stuff. So excited for this, and uh, yeah, man. As always, I really appreciate, as I said, all the support. If you guys do enjoy the videos, but you're not yet already, make sure to go down there, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell, and uh, if you enjoyed this video, whatever the heck it was, hit that thumbs up button. And also, if you guys haven't seen the last video, or the last two truck camping videos, sleeping and camping and fishing and exploring in the trucks, if you guys haven't seen those videos, I recommend that. Shout out. To tank. We'll be doing a lot more stuff like this in the future. All right, say, man, let's keep this rolling. Thank you guys for watching. You See you next video.